So first on West 2 shows the panic that erupted after a drug-related shootout in the middle of one of the area's busiest roadways. Investigators say two brothers executed a man in the middle of State Road 436 in front of an Altamont Best Buy store back in January. West 2's Bob Keeling joins us live from that location with more on how the video and audio of the gunshots played a part in the state seeking the death penalty for both teams. Yeah, that's right, Michelle. On this video, you see one surveillance camera that's pointing out in this direction across the street from State Road 436. Then there's another one down the road that captured the sound of what all these gunshots sounded like. This silent surveillance video from a U-Haul store captures people running in the street, 436, as this incident begins to unfold. Meanwhile, another camera from a nearby miniature golf course captured what it all sounded like. Workers at the miniature golf course told customers to move out of harm's way. Stay away from that area. That was just gunfire. Investigators say 19 year old Christopher Rodriguez then went back to where the man he believed responsible for ripping him off lay in the street wounded and shot him multiple more times. Detectives say his twin, Manuel Rodriguez, drove the getaway car. The state plans to seek the death penalty against both. West 2 legal analyst Richard Hornsby says the audio of perhaps a dozen or more shots being fired mid afternoon along the busy roadway is a key aggravating factor in the state's decision to seek death against both teens who, until this point, had no serious run ins with the law. These people were acting like they're in the Wild West. They, they clearly weren't, um, you know, showing any respect for anybody else that could have uh, been around. They, they had no uh, remorse in the way they were going about killing this person and, and other people that could have been killed or injured by it. And I think that's why the state attorney here thinks the death penalty is an appropriate sanction to seek here. Now, both of the Rodriguez brothers have pleaded not guilty to murder charges. They will both turn 20 years old this Thursday behind bars here in Seminole County. Reporting live in Altamont Springs, Bob Keeling, West 2 News.